Hi the internet, welcome to part 3 of the DIY Astro Cam build. Um, so we have had some major breakthroughs and it kind of works. So I will give you a quick run through of how I've got this to work. So I've created a couple of files. So I'm going to jump in, I've connected it through VNC. So the Raspberry Pi Zero is connected through the internet, through VNC. And this is the desktop. So I'm going to open up the terminal. And I've created a couple of files here. So once they open, so I've created a 10 hour and a 12 hour time lapse using this coding here. So I will simply copy that, close that, and I'm going to paste it into my terminal and then hit the enter key. So what that is going to now do is any minute now, hopefully, start taking some images. See, there we go. So the way I've got this set is that I've set it to a 4K resolution. I have it set to do a 30 second shutter speed with an ISO of 800 and continuous shooting. So it's going to finish one picture and it will start the next. So, if I jump back into my VNC, so on the VNC it doesn't display the preview of the image. So I'm going to jump in and stop that by closing the terminal. And then if I go back in or open up the folder option, it's taken two images because it's going to go for about a minute. If I can open the images. There we go, so that has taken a 30 second exposure at ISO 800. You can see it's obviously quite bright in here. The lights and things. That's the first image. Open up the second image. Right there as well. There we go. So I'll just quickly run through what's on my piece of code. I'll copy and paste this. I'm going to do that. I'll copy and paste the code into the link so that you can see it and if you want to build something yourself, you can. So as soon as it opens, there we go. So we've got Raspberry still, so that opens up the camera app. W3840 or minus W3840 and minus H2160. That's the resolution that it's going to capture. Metering average. Now, this bit here is how long your time lapse is going to run for. So I've worked out 10 hours is that many milliseconds. TL, that would be how many seconds between exposures it takes. So I'd set that to zero, you could set it to one, 30, 10, whatever. Uh, EX off is the exposure mode. And the only way you can get the camera to do a long exposure is to have that set to off. 
shutter. Again, that's in milliseconds, so we could change that if we wanted to, to 10, 20, 30, whatever. ISO 800, quality of the JPEG image at 100. The minus R is for raw. Uh, the minus O image, that will number the images individually, so as you saw it will create one image, one file name, then move down to the next. Uh, stats, I'm not sure what that does, but I found it in someone else's code, so I copy and pasted it. And burst, so that's turned off, so that will again enable the long exposures. So, let's just delete those. Got those in the waste basket. Get rid of those. And I can open up my terminal again. It's a bit slow. Let's make the terminal over here. To be able to paste that same code back in, press enter again. And in a minute it will start flashing up some images that it's taken. There we go. And what you should eventually be able to see is that there we go, it started popping in images into the folder. Then once my time lapse is completed, I can either promote in and stop it myself, or I can just leave it to run for the 10 or 12 hours, however long I want to run it for. Copy all the images from the Pi folder, and then I can pop them into a into a time lapse on Windows. There is a code that I can put in if you want to so that you can make it create a time lapse automatically um, but the Raspberry Pi Zero isn't very powerful and I think it would probably take forever and it would crash so there we go that is how stop that you can create a DIY AstroCam Taken, then go there we go, a couple of photos taken. So potentially there are more coding options that you can do. So I'm going to start looking into how you can have it start at a certain time and stop at a certain time and also put the images into separate folders for a particular day or date. Well, I hope you found that useful. Um, I will. The noises you can hear in the background are the 3D printers going because I'm currently printing a case for the Pi. And I've also put... Oh, um, that's what I want to mention. So the camera module, I'm planning on cooling that, so I'm going to try and attach a Peltier cooler to the back. I've only got 12 volt ones in stock, but I've ordered a couple of 5 volt ones. So the plan is that I can attach a Peltier cooler to the back of the camera with a heat sink and a fan. So that will keep the camera cool to hopefully reduce some noise in the images and um, power it all through a small USB power bank. Well, I will leave a link to the description in the description of all the bits that I've used. They are Amazon affiliate links. So if you want to purchase this and start your own high DIY time lapse, night lapse, astro cam, use my links. And if you wanted to like and subscribe, it would also be fantastic. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And you'll see in the next episode, the printed case. And hopefully, if it's not cloudy, some images.
Beaches of the Sky. Peace out.